Good day, future scientists, entrepreneurs. I'm Mr. B. Kebe from Oar Tambo Coastal. I will be dealing with agricultural sciences. The topic for today is animal production. The outcomes learners they have to know the difference between intensive and extensive production system. Also know the difference between commercial and subsistence farming system. They also have to know the purpose of farming system, also the importance of shelter. Animal production involves keeping the animals for production of animal products such as milk, meat, and skin, and eggs. But production will be affected by diseases and adverse environmental conditions. These are the threats when it comes to the products that will be produced by animals. Animal production, we have two types of animal production. Learners, they have to take note of the term production. Now, production system is divided into intensive production system and extensive production system. Firstly, I will talk about the intensive production system. Intensive production system involves keeping the farm animals in an enclosed or confined area. But when we talk about extensive production system, it involves keeping the animals in a larger area. For example, sometimes when we talk about this, in extensive production system, sometimes we'll be given a diagram or you will be given a chart. I will do an example of a chart. Now, when you are given a chart, you need to check the spaces that will be given and also you need to know, you count the number of animals that will be provided. For example, you will be given 100 cows here. 100 cows, but on this one, you will be given 500 pigs. But on this one, you are only given 50 sheep. Then when you are asked to analyze the chart that will be given, you need to count the number of animals and also check the space that will be provided. For example, for when you talk about cows, this is an example of an extensive production system. But when you want to analyze and check which one that is responsible for intensive production system, you will take pigs because there is a smaller space here, but we have many animals. On this one of extensive animals, they are few in a larger area. Now, we have examples of intensive production system. We have a bed through cage, a feed lot, a deep litter system, backyard system, and also a free range. Now, when we talk about a bed through cage, it's whereby you keep animals that are producing eggs. Those animals, we call them layers. Layers, it's only the animals that will be producing eggs. Now farmers, they rely on producing eggs in order to sell or to feed their own families. I will deal later with the types of farmers. We also have a feedlot. The purpose of a feedlot is to keep large and small animals in an area. Now, the purpose of keeping those animals in that area is for fattening and growth. Now, these animals, they are kept temporarily there in order for that purpose of giving those animals in order to grow and also to fatten them when we prepare them for selling. We also have a deep litter system. This one, we are dealing with the chickens that will be breeded in order for me to get meat. They will be sold in order to get meat. We also have a backyard system. Now, when you deal with the backyard system and the free range system, you need to be able to differentiate well. In a backyard system, there will be a defined facility, and these animals will be provided feed. But when you talk about a free range, these animals, they are not provided feed. They have to go and search food for themselves but you have to also check the surroundings, even if there is a house. If ever there is no backyard, there is no yard inside 
you need to know that you are dealing with a free range, even if those animals, they are there and they are many. But when you deal with the backyard, there will be a yard that surrounds a house. Let's move. We also have the types of farming systems. Now, learners, they have to take note. When you talk about the farming system and production systems, it is a different, it, they are, there is a difference there. In farming systems, we have a subsistence farming system, and we also have a commercial farming system. A subsistence farming system, they produce agricultural products for them to eat. In another words, let's talk about the purpose of a subsistence farming system. The purpose is to feed their own families, meaning when they plow, they will not sell the products. Instead, they would feed their own families, or for their own use. But when you talk about commercial farming system, this one is practiced by a large scale farmers, and the purpose of this one is to produce products in order to get profit. Now, these people, they will be focusing in making sure that profit is there, there is no loss. Now, we need to link now the farming system with the production systems. And this question will always come out when we deal with exams. Now, in commercial farming systems, they are linked with intensive production system based on their characteristics. But when you talk about a subsistence farming system, it is linked with extensive production system. Now, this is an example of a subsistence farming system. If we analyze this diagram, on this part, the, the labor here is using a traditional way. They are plowing using a horse. But when we talk about a commercial farming system, we are using me mechanization whereby when you plow, or when you harvest, you use machines. Now, this is the difference between a subsistence and commercial. In commercial, there is less mechanization that will be used. In subsistence, there is less mechanization that will be used. But in commercial, there is more mechanization that will be used. Now, let's go to the comparison between extensive and intensive production system. Now, a learner, when learners prepare themselves for exams, they have to take note of this. Firstly, you need to check, okay, you need to know the goal. The goal in extensive is to minimize a risk. These people, they don't want to take a risk, but in intensive production system, the goal is to get profit, is to maximize a profit. But we also need to check the area. The area in extensive, we have a larger area. Therefore, there will be few animals in a larger area. Even if there are more animals in that larger area, once the animals, they are scattered, we need to know that we are dealing with extensive production system. Extensive, we have a larger area, but animals will be less. But in intensive production system, we'll have more animals in a small area. And in extensive production systems, animals will not be provided food, will go and find food for themselves. But in intensive production system, animals will be given a balanced ration. When you talk about a balanced ration, it's a feed that contains all the necessary nutrients for an animal. We also have to take note of the labor. Labor in, in, in extensive production system, it is less, but in labor, it is more in intensive production system. We also have mechanization in intensive. All productivity, extensive have low productivity, but in intensive, we have high productivity. We also have to take note of the cost. The cost in extensive, it is less, but the cost in intensive, it is high. Now, these are the pictures that represent what I've already said. 
Now this one, it represent, it represent intensive production system. As you see here, these animals, they are more in a small space, all of them, even the sheep. They are waiting to be provided feed, a fully balanced ration. This one represent an extensive production system where animals, they go and find food for themselves. Even if you see these chickens, that they are many, but if you look closely to them, they find food for themselves. We also have factors that increase animal production in intensive and extensive, which is a feeding, breeding, and environment, and general enterprise management. We also have shelter. A shelter is important because it keeps animals. Now, the importance of shelter is to protect animals from predators, protect animals from theft, protect animals from the extreme hot and cold condition. Now, animals lose body heat through evaporation, heat radiation, conduction and conversion, and excretion. I think you learners make agriculture fashionable and prioritize agriculture. You are the future entrepreneurs. Thank you.